Welcome back to Timber Borners. Season 4, episode 3 is what you are watching. A commenter said I won't survive. Let's prove this guy wrong using the power of engineering. Do, 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 do. I always forget that bit in the song. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn, or Timberborn is to be more specific. Now as you can see we're currently in a drought which means there's no water coming down into our colony and the only remaining water is this bit in here plus what we've got saved in our, our sort of efficiently laid out storage tanks. Uh, things have actually been going pretty well, but as you saw in the intro, one of the commenters said hard mode is actually brutal. The dry seasons are going to get longer and longer. I think this one was like 11 days, which is actually quite a long time. Um, and if I don't, if I don't prep, I'm going to be in trouble. Now, thankfully, I've been building a dam up here. And the aim with this is to store water back here so that I can pump it. Now, I am a little bit concerned about that. Basically, if we click on this, that's how high my dam is going to be. Perhaps I should make it lower because water will flow down here and then it will probably flood my city. And I can't be dealing with flooding. I can't be dealing with flooding. So, yeah, I think I'm actually going to tweak this to make it lower. Uh, but before we do that, I've, I've got an apology to make. Yes, I'm going to apologize for what I said in the last video. Now, if you look in the bottom left, you'll see not an engineer died of old age. Now, I shamed this guy many a times. He tried to escape the shaming wheel quite often. Who's who's taken his place? Jonah Swanson is in there, but that was not an engineer's little area. Uh, and I feel I feel bad. Like some of the comments were like, Matt, this guy's not an architect. He's just not an engineer. What's going on? Has the power of engineering got to your head? And yeah, then I realized I've been I've been thinking like an architect, thinking I'm better than everyone else just because I'm an engineer. So here is my apology. I apologize for shaming Not an Engineer and then not respecting his death. Let's have a flashback to remember Not an Engineer by. Not an Engineer was a young whippersnapper with dreams of being not an engineer. He had ambitions of carrying logs to places or perhaps farming in the fields grabbing carrots. But he ended up spending most of his life in the shaming wheel and despite some attempts to escape, at the time he ran over the dam and then stole a barrel of water, he always ended up back in the shaming wheel. And then unfortunately his life came to an abrupt end. This video is sponsored by Manscaped and their performance package bundle. All right, so let's open this up. So first off, this this is a lovely box. Look at this. So this is an all-in-one grooming kit. And yes, it's true. Your balls will thank you. <laughs> Love it. Right. This is the Lawnmower 4.0. It's a waterproof cordless trimmer. It has these replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and a built-in LED so you can see exactly what you're doing. It comes with this charging dock, which is USB type C. So useful. Thank you. And a load of different cutting height attachments in case you want to do some topery. We've also got these two things. This one's ball deodorant. <laughs> which is anti-chafing. This one is a refreshing ball toner. So the Performance Package 4.0 bundle now includes their new Weed Whacker, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer. And as you're getting older, that's going to be a thing, unfortunately. And for a limited time only, you can get two free gifts. So firstly, you get these, which are lovely Manscaped anti-chafing boxes. And if we open up this flap, you can see in here, this is called the Shed. It's a very high quality travel bag. So if this sounds of interest to you, go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping, plus the two free gifts when you use promo code RealCivilEngineer at checkout. So thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring today's video. But let's get back to the video. All right, anyway, with that out of the way, let's let's tweak this dam because it, it's too high. It's too high. It's too, it's too much. It's far too much. So I'm going to select the top two layers. We're going to delete all of that. Yep, delete. It's gone. It is gone. And then we're going to put the dam pieces across there because these are the ones that you can build roads on. Uh, not this end one though, actually, not that end one. We'll delete that and we'll make that a levy. And then actually what's cheaper? A dam piece is 20 logs, a levy is 12. Okay, so we'll put another levy there because that means we can put stairs up like that. So our beavers can actually get to this side, which would be quite useful, I think. So yeah, we'll just path along the top then so they can get to that edge. And then up there, they can do what they want. Nice. Although we can get up that side, I feel like I'd rather get a bridge involved or something. Oh man, bridges are expensive. They take a lot of science as well as planks and steel. With that in mind, where is the closest 
I think back up here, this is the closest scrapyard area where we can get scrap metal. That's quite cool. Or maybe this one, that's quite close. Basically, these are like old ruins from where humans used to live. Yeah, you can see the ruins contain scrap metal, which we can use to turn into actual working metal and then build bridges and things. And I'd love to get some bridges across these canyons. But yeah, I think for now, that's pretty good. They should build that fairly quickly. So over here, we've got loads of trees being planted. <laughs> <laughs> apparently where did i do it is it these ones or is it up here yeah up here. <laughs> so in the comments um people informed me very very courteously very politely i should say informed me that when i said i was planting maples i was actually planting chestnut trees uh yeah oops still we got lots of trees we've sort of gone all out i think we probably need to think about water now the downside with the foxtails compared to the usual clan that i use is in in the water pump can you see in there it says maximum depth two that's a lot shorter than my usual water pump i'm used to dealing with which essentially means if i were to shove this like say there if we try and take into account how deep the water will be can you see that won't actually be able to reach much water like the the nozzle doesn't go deep enough so we may have to put our pumps up there where they can get a bit more depth and of course that will involve doing steps and stuff so yeah let's do that now so let's shove a platform there do steps there and there and then a little path off and then hopefully we can head along this way and over this side we can do steps down like that and then over here we'll have a long line of pumps so we'll do that that and that oh and look the drought has ended which means water should return to the land so our two water sources are this one in the middle of the helix mountain now this takes a good few days until the water actually reaches my base so if you follow my mouse it's got to go all the way around there all the way around all the way around then it'll get stopped by my dam thankfully but still it would come all the way around here all the way around there and then down to our village here. Um, but the other water source is up here. You can see that's just flown down. And that is now entering the village. And we've only got 57 water left. So that means it's a good time to turn these water pumps back on. Which means we have two beavers that are willing to pump their log for the good of the colony. One's already got going. It's like it's first thing in the morning and this guy's already going. Who's that? Claus Brandstrup or Klaus Brandstrup. Oh, good job you are you are doing some good work in there let's speed it oh look at that go oh and the other one's going who's that damon grim love to see it that is what timber borners is all about all right so anyway that's a good water supply that should start to fill up some of those i'm not going to turn this one on yet because as you can see there is no water entering this it's been a day and that's how far the water has got down the helix uh, thankfully it is going to get past our dam and um, but sort of remembering how important it is to have water down here because if there's not water here basically everything that's green will go brown so all my trees will die all my carrots will die so i think actually it's more important to get the old floodgates going which means i am actually going to delete the stuff i put on there so basically i want them to build this and then i'm going to replace some of the middle ones with these triple floodgates so i'm going to need 500 science oh i've got 500 science I'm going to unlock that now, I think. So yes, we'll unlock that. And basically, that is a triple floodgate. And the reason I can't build the floodgates like within the wall is if you look, it's sort of... Can you see it's got, got like a little roof on top? Like if I rotate it around, you see it's got a roof. So you can't actually walk past that. Hence, we have to build the dam first so that we can build this side and then work backwards, demolishing pillars, replacing with floodgates. But then we should be good. Then we should have water flowing down. And oh, look, actually, the water is about to come flying past. That's quite a wave. <laughs> but yeah, since I'm since I am scared of that comment that said I'm going to die very soon because they've played hard mode a lot, I might actually add a few more water pumps down here. Um, and I might high prioritize these just because we really, really need to start filling up the water. And it's barely going up at all. We've got 87 water. That's that's not a lot. Oh, no. Oh no, we've run out of water. We've run out of water down here. Look, everything's dying. No. Come on, water. Make it down. <laughs> oh no, that's 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 dreadful. That's literally game ending. I'll tell you what, I could I could demolish this dam temporarily just to let water back in. There is water coming down, thankfully. Hopefully that will rejuvenate before anything dies. Have these carrots died already? It's drying out and will die within two days. Okay, we're good. Although we've just been told there's going to be another drought in 2.9 days. Oh, man. 
this is not good at all, right? We really need to get these pumps built. Come on, prioritize. What are you What are you doing, beavers? All right, I think they're coming. They're coming with the logs. They're bringing the logs over. So yeah, as they come around here, they're putting the logs in. They're doing some construction. Uh, but we we are we are really really in trouble on the old water side. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, the water's back there. Let's get someone in this water pump. Jonas Swanson, you're in. So he's gone in there. He's pumping away. That means we should hopefully get some more water oh man this is really not good oh we have built a log pump over here there's no there's no free beavers there's no unemployed beavers okay so which job can we lose for now i'll probably say you mr forrester you're literally you're literally doing nothing he's just having a look out like yeah there's nothing to do right Ruffalo, you're paused go pump your log go do something useful <laughs> Right, so we've doubled our water production. We've got the pump up there. We've got those three. So hopefully we should fill up some of these fairly quickly. I'm sort of... I'm waiting for this other one to be built ASAP. I'm sort of thinking, should I put more water storage in? I think I probably should. I feel like long-term plans as well. It would be good to try and get water to, like, flow down to here quicker. Because it's still got to go around the helix a few times. I can see there's a little cut out there, so I could dam like that bit. And that means water that gets to there should flow over this way. Essentially skipping an entire segment of the helix. Could I do that further up? I mean, I could attempt to dam there so that it floods over this side. I'd probably have to put a channel in, which means researching dynamite. And I know dynamite takes quite a while. Um, oh, look, the water pump is done. Right, we need another, we need another water pumper. Adam Colgan, you're in there, mate. Right, and we're, we're really not filling up with water fast at all. What's going on? Oh, dear. And actually, considering we didn't pump this throughout the dry season, I think that means if the next dry season is longer than 10 or 11 days, whatever this one was, then our city is sort of doomed unless we put a shortcut in or unless we can get this dam finished with the floodgates. Because at least if we have floodgates in, then we can, like, manage when the water comes down. We can, like, drip feed almost trouble is they're taking so long to build this perhaps i could build a builder's hut which allows me to employ additional builders i mean we've got the science so i'm gonna unlock it i'm gonna build one of those up here and as you can tell by the shape that is a very very efficient building so i'm guessing if we prioritize this then we can get more builders to build that i, oh, I don't know <laughs> i feel like this has all gone wrong this has all gone wrong why isn't the water filling up very quickly? We've got so many water pumpers. We do have four builders at the moment, don't we? Yeah, four builders. Bretkus, Jessica McLeod, Ankdy King, and Marius Torvmark. We've got loads of resources. They're just... I don't know, they're just slow. How is this builder's hut doing? See, that's another day, and we're not even, like... We're only 25% of the way to making that. I think we could be in trouble. We could, <laughs> we could be in a lot of trouble. Although, what I can do... I can just delete this dam if this dries up because then water will come from up in this water source and it should head up that way, right? I probably don't sound very convincing. I'm not very convinced myself, but let's see what happens. The good news at least is we are filling up with water. Hopefully this will be enough to survive the entire dry season. What are we up to? You're up to 400 water. And there you go. That is the end of the day pretty much. We have we have filled up all of our water except for the very last one damn you small water tank but yeah hopefully that will be enough and yeah as you can see the drought has started which means oh man this one this one's dried up instantly so i probably want to pause some of these water pumps so adam you're paused Ruffalo, you're sacked but actually actually there's no there's no benefit in pausing those i'll i'll leave them running because it doesn't matter if this pond dries out and basically there's evaporation so the quicker we can pump and get the water stored i don't think I don't think there's evaporation once it's in a tank. Uh, despite it being open-aired, I think the evaporation actually stops. You can only evaporate from a water source, like a lake, and hopefully we'll be good. I'm going to pause the science because I don't really need science right now. Things are getting a bit, a bit risky. This guy over here, the other forester, Crazy Croc, you are sacked as well. And then this water pumper here, I will pause that. Once the water stops flowing over that dam, basically. Because I think for now, until until the helix dries up, which you can see it is drying up. It's slowly going back. But until it gets to, like, down here, there's no point in pausing that. I may as well just take the water. All right, so meanwhile, the builder's hut is completed. We got two builders in there, which means the dam is getting completed a little bit quicker. I might actually pause some of the farmers. We've got a lot of food. Yeah, look. Who's that? Who's that? Pirate Lord Wilhelm, you're sat on your ass. I know you like the shaming wheel. Stop trying to earn yourself back into it. 
I am actually going to pause these two guys uh, in the hope that they become builders and then help get the dam done because I've got so much. I've got so many carrots. There's literally, there's no point keep farming them. I've got to build the dam. Oh, and the good news about the drought, it's only, it's only eight days. So I think we should be fine. We should be fine. I am going to pause this guy now though. Jonas, you're paused. No more pumping down there. I mean, the water's full anyway, so no point in keeping you in there. Go be a builder or something. And then it's just a case of waiting and trying to get this dam built. And sort of also hoping we survive the dry season. I think it will be fine though. You can see the water is now just down here. Oh, we got a little bit of surcharge there. A little bit of overspill from our dam. But yeah, we're not pumping. So we just need this area to stay green. So we don't lose our trees or our veg. Now, thinking about the dam, I don't actually think I need that end bit. Like if we look from above, I'm pretty sure like there won't actually be a gap there. So this this whole column isn't actually needed. So I might remove that just to speed things up. And that means on this column, this one here, I could put a floodgate in straight away. So I'll delete this column. And then on this end one, the floodgate will go in there. And actually as well, I've been I've been following these guys. I think they can build like yeah, you can see they've already built this lower down levee because they can reach. As long as they're touching, they can build adjacent, which means I can, I think I can delete that column and then put a second floodgate on that levee like that. Because basically when a beaver stood on this, they should be able to build both of those floodgates without needing to be on top. So I think that's actually fine. I'm just worried about that gap. Can you see there's a gap there? I I think water shouldn't come through despite looking like it will. Uh, if it does, we are a little bit screwed because we won't actually be able to get to there to build it without building like, I don't know, platforms around the back or something. But yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. However, however, shocking development. Look who's just grown up. Unshameable architect. Well, we will see about that because I have space in the shaming wheel at the moment. No Patreons or YouTube members have disgusting usernames except for yourself. So if we go into our beaver list, we can see Unchainable Architect, you are unemployed, which means if I unpause this job in the shaming wheel, then Unshameable Architect will be shamed. Are you ready? Wait, what happened? What? No unemployed beaver? No, he is. He is unemployed. I just saw. Game, what are you doing? Now we'll go back into the list. Unshameable Architect, he's unemployed. But then the shaming rule says no unemployed beavers in district. What? Oh no. This architect is unshameable. What are we going to do? <coughs> Bless me. All right, guys, I'm going to need your help. You watching this video, we need to come together with the power of engineering. I need you to boosh the like button. All right, that's it. I can feel you guys boosting the like button. The power of engineering is getting to me. And just like that, look, he's in. He's in. It worked. It worked. The unshameable architect is in the shaming wheel. Oh, look at this dude just watching at him. He's Jonas Swanson. He's literally just staring like shame, 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 shame. All right, yes, good work, guys. That was that was awesome teamwork. I'm very proud of everyone that boosted the like button. Then also, we've just had two new beavers grow up. Real Bridge Expansion Joint Engineer and No Touchy to Hachi. Uh, so I'm guessing we can probably make you guys scientists. Let's get the science back on the go. Oh, and down here, the, the water has finished. So Klaus, you're paused. Damon, you're also paused. What jobs can we get you to do, actually? I don't know. I don't know what there is to do. I guess one of you can go make some planks. It's never a bad shout because we do have power now, thanks to the old shameable architect. And then I guess the other one, it might be worth collecting more logs or maybe being a forester. Yeah, Dame Grimm, you're in there. You can plant some more trees. Although we do have a lot of maples up there. Oh, that's because our beavers can't get to them. Okay, okay, let's delete that lumberjack flag. And then where a tree is being planted there, I assume that's what you're doing, Damon. I'm actually going to interrupt you and build another lumberjack flag there just so we can reach these trees up the top because I didn't realize they were out of range. Great. 1.8 days remaining of the drought. We've still got a fair amount of water, I think. Let's just clip through the map. Yeah, look, you can see there's that much water remaining. I think we're good. I think 10 to 11 days is sort of the limit of the drought we can survive at the moment. Oh, and you idiots. You absolute idiots. <laughs> oh, did you see what happened there? Someone... Oh, no. Someone built that bit of dam whilst these guys were building that end. So they're literally trapped. Andy King, Ruffalo... 
They're literally stranded on the dam. Oh, that was a waste of like 12 logs, wherever it costs. How much does the dam? Oh, 20 logs. Oh, you idiots. <laughs> right, okay. Let's save these guys. We're going to have to delete that. All right, now you guys are free. I'm going to I'm gonna have to play about with the assigning priorities. So low priority is going to be all of those. And then I have high priority those ones. Lowest priority of the stairs at the back because that will trap people. Yeah, actually, if I super low priority all of these top ones. So if this makes any sense, there's no point in building the top because they can build from that level that's already built. And I want them to build these floodgates and then I can sort of work backwards. So I don't actually want them to build that at all, do I? Yeah, from replacing this whole column with floodgates, I don't, I just, I don't want them to build that. I'll just delete. Yeah, I'll just delete all these top things. That makes way more sense. So basically, they're going to build that platform. Then they can work on that to build these two floodgates. And then I can delete that one and that one to put another floodgate there. Do the same there and just slowly work back. Yeah, I've just saved myself a lot of wood and a lot of time, I think. And another positive, the drought has ended. So let's watch the water come down from this end. This is the end that comes straight through down to here really quick. So the game is sped up, but you'll see how quickly the water flows down. It's it's beautiful. I love seeing like the trees being rejuvenated by the water. And yeah, so the water comes down these waterfalls along there, making everything green in its path, which is very nice. And then as it gets to the bottom, it does take a day though, like the sun's setting. Water is finally back. We've still got 245 water left, so that's good. Uh, we're going to get these pumps going. Oh, look who's got in there. Bushmaster General. See, our poor Damon as well. I know he's good at pumping his log, so he should go into the one next to Bushmaster. Oh, man. Bushmaster is proper going for it. Fair play. <laughs> All right, so that's good. That means our water's going back up. I can add two more pumpers if this gets low, but I feel like that's fairly decent. I might try and get some more water storage. Um, ideally, once this dam is completed... But look, it is nearly there. The water's actually flowing past the dam now. So this area over here is filling up. It should come down there and then refill this lake we've got going on. And it doesn't matter if we do build our floodgate in time because we can just lower the floodgates. That is why we're doing floodgates, essentially, because they are adjustable. All right, and there we go. Everything is blue. The water is back down the bottom. We've just got to wait for our lake to fill up and then it will overtop this dam. You can actually, you can see it moving at fast motion. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at it. Look at it rise. And then from the other side, it's flowing over the top just about. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Right, nice. I think I sort of survived. I, I may have winged it, but I think we're good. The dam is nearly done. There is a floodgate. We will lower that. Oh, and actually, I've just, I've just had a thought. I know, dangerous. But uh, should I just be doing like the diagonal ones, like those ones? Are those at the back a waste? But oh, what the? What, what is wrong with these guys? We've just stranded Jessica McLeod now because we built the steps. <laughs> Who keeps doing this? I thought I'd prioritize everything so that didn't happen. Nobeds. Bunch of nobeds, my beavers. Anyway, you're free now, Jess. So yeah, it's just a question of do I actually, do I need like two layers of floodgates or can I just do the front layer? I might just try and do the front layer. It will save me four planks if I delete this one. Oh, it is a gamble. It is a gamble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble it. So delete this. No, no, actually no. No, no, no. I'm not gonna risk it. It's not worth risking. If I do this and I cock it up, I've basically ruined my entire colony. And if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. So I'm going to let these guys finish that one. Meanwhile, I think because they can build that from that platform, I can start deleting this front one. So we want to delete that, delete that, and delete that. Oh, balls. I was only meant to delete two. Who? All right, hang on. All right, levy at the bottom <laughs> and then triple floodgate on top. So then they can build this floodgate from there and they can build that one from there. So once that one's done, I'll delete two levies off this. Then they can build that from there. Yeah, okay. I think that's good. All right, sorted. There is a drought coming in three days. Well, 2.9 days now. So if you guys if you guys could uh, chop chop, that would be appreciated. There we go. We got another floodgate in. Nice. Uh, we're running out of planks pretty fast though. How much does each floodgate cost in terms of planks? Oh, they take 15 planks. We might have to get some more plankage on the go. Um, but as that one's done, I am going to delete that and that. And get the next floodgate in there. Do you see the beavers? They're carrying all the wood and planks and stuff up the stairs. And they're coming along this edge. They've got to wade into the water. It's very, very precarious there. I hope they've done risk assessments and things. 
I mean, we should have someone looking out, really, just in case someone does get washed away. But yeah, I think we can we can build that fairly quickly, which hopefully means we can build the pumping stuff at the back here. And that we should be able to pump throughout the dry season. So yeah, all in all, I think we're proving that commenter wrong that said I was going to die. Let's fast forward until the dry season and see how things look then. All right, so here we are. The drought has started. A uh, little bit of a problem. For some reason, they've started building these. Oh, it shouldn't have path yet. Let's, uh, let's just path those up. But why are you guys building that when the dam's not done? Oh, cock. I know why. Oh, bulls. Bull sacks. Big old bubbly bollocks. So whilst they can build the floodgate because they can reach it from there. Because they just like reach across to that corner where my mouse is. They can't actually build down to there. They can only build downwards, like literally adjacent. Oh, feck. So basically, I've got to, I've got to build a platform over... Like to the right of this block so they can build that. Oh, that's so annoying. So if I build it out of levees, that will be 12 logs times 3 blocks. Or I could unlock a triple platform, which will be 6 logs and 4 planks, as well as 200 science. I can afford that. Do I want to waste planks though? I'm not sure. I mean, speed is quite key. And that'll get built a hell of a lot quicker than the levees. But no, I think I gotta save my I gotta save my planks. They're far too valuable. So let's do that. Let's wang up the priority of those. Oh, that's so annoying. I can't that's such a rookie mistake. Now, the good news is though, we do actually have these completed now. So we could move water pumpers up here if we do start to run out of water. I mean, we've still got 400. How long is this dry sea? Oh god, it's 12 days long. I mean, thankfully with these floodgates in, it does mean we can raise and lower these to let water out. And if we let water down to here, I mean, that's going to dry up, I think, in 10 or 11 days. So you guys will actually see us using the floodgates and how this is going to work. So that'll be fun. That should be good. In the meantime, we may as well pump this small lake dry. And then once these guys can't get any more fluid out of their logs, we'll move them up to these pumpers, I think. All right, so there we go. You can see they've built the three levees, which means they can finally build that one at the bottom, which then means they can build that floodgate and then we can start working backwards. Ugh. I'm so annoyed at myself. There you go. The levy at the bottom is in. So now I can actually delete these. Oh, wait. No. Oh, cock. I don't think they can because I think... Oh, no. I think because this one's there, like that sort of blocks where they could build that. Like they could build across a diagonal previously. I think with that there, that actually blocks it. Because now when I click on this, it says this construction site is too far from builders. Oh, balls. So I'm going to have to... Oh, cock, you know. <laughs> We gonna have to put the levees back in again. I'm an idiot. Why? Oh, why did I do that? Okay, so build the levees again, guys. Good work. <laughs> do you ever have that feeling when you like my boss is an idiot? I can't believe he's actually in charge of us. I feel like that's what's happening with my beavers right now. Like they are definitely around the campfire chatting shit about me. <laughs> Completely understandable as well. Fair play to him. Oh, I'm right. Look down here. These these guys, they've pumped their log too hard. So we're going to pause you. We should see them go into here. Yeah, nice. So they're the two new log pumpers. So they will be lowering this water level. Hopefully not too much. Because these pumpers, they can only reach down two. And remember, my floodgates can go down three. So even if these guys pump the water so as none remaining, we should still be able to let some out to refill this bit of green down here. So yeah, everything's still going to plan, I think. Let's fast forward. All right, hours later, the three levees are back in for like the third time. So now they can start working on this triple floodgate. <laughs> oh, then I'm going to be very careful about what I delete working my way back. At least it gave us time to collect some planks. So we've got over 40 now, so that's pretty good. All right, so that's done. So we can definitely delete these levees. We can delete those two and wang a floodgate on top like that. And if we high prioritize that one, we should be able to do the back one. Oh, oh, I've just, I've just, <laughs> I've just released flood water. And you can see that water we accidentally let out. That is actually going to come down here and it should top up this lake down here, which was actually getting quite low. We clip through the game. You can see there was only there's only that much water remaining. Oh look, and now it is rising. Love to see it. So that's essentially how these floodgates are gonna work. Although, oh balls. <laughs> because there's a big hole in my dam, we're now no longer pumping water over there. So we may as well pause, UT. This dam construction has literally been a disaster. 
Oh, why am I so stupid? What's wrong with me? Anyway, the drought is over, so you can see the water is returning up here. Obviously, down here, let's let's collect some water again. So we'll unpause all of these. Uh, now it is the wet season. I am actually gonna make a hole in the wall because uh, we do we want the water to get back down into our into our colony. So yeah, all good. And, oh no, virtually challenge engineer just died of old age. <laughs> Oh no, that's very sad. Everyone's pumping the log except for Vertically Challenged Engineers one. I think they're... that's like a memorial piece. A sign of respect. They're not going to pump their wood in that one for at least 24 hours. This is a nice way to remember Vertically Challenged Engineer. Right, anyway, water is going back up. The dam is being built. Water has returned. I think all in all, we're doing okay. And I can say, hopefully... In your face, commenter that doubted me. We're doing fine. Thank you to the patrons that support this video. Literally wouldn't exist without you. So appreciate all the names on the screen right now. And the others at a lower tier. It's all appreciated. It all goes towards making more videos like this one. And on that note, peace, love, and super, super mega dams. Oh, no, there's a dry season in three days. Bye.